Hey, what's up, Gamer Mustic? I had an idea, it kind of came to me out of the blue the other day, and it was based on something that Tara said in one of her streams, that was she, uh, she'd been trying to get the Pigsy spell forever. She'd open up bunches and bunches and bunches of packs, and could not seem to get the Pigsy permanent spell, no matter what she did. Uh, one of her friends or fans, Timothy Titan, gifted her a few packs, and bam, on the first gifted pack, that she opened up, she got Pixie. That got me to thinking. I wonder if there's a better drop rate for items in gifted packs than there is for items, or for pack items in packs that you open yourself. What makes me think this is, over the course of my YouTube career, I have gifted a lot of packs. Just random gifts for contests, for what have you. I've gifted a lot of packs. And out of those packs, a lot of people have said, oh my God, I got this, or oh my God, I got that. I've been looking for that forever. Be it a perm mount, be it a pet, be it a particular tough to get piece of gear, it didn't make any difference. It seems like whenever I gifted a pack, somebody was getting something that they just couldn't seem to get whenever they opened their own packs themselves. And I, I myself, I'm an example of that too. I've done a pack opening video on pretty much every new pack that has come down the line. And to, to be fair, there's been a few of them where I had really, really great luck. But for the most part, I'd end up, and this is the, this is the big one, I'd end up missing that perm mouth that was in the pack. I'd get the pet after, after more packs than I wanted to open, to be honest. But most of the time, I'd miss that new mouth. I was looking all over to try to get that new mount and bam, just couldn't get it. I'd see a one day version, I'd see a seven day version. I'd pick up all kinds of things all around it, but I would never get the perm mount. It seems like whenever I get gifted packs, I can get a perm mount out of them. I'm not quite sure why that is. A little bit later in this video, I think I've got some packs. I'm gonna check it out and I'll, I'll open up some packs and see if I can get a perm mount out of them. But whenever I gift, like, okay, here's, here's another good example. For instance, back in the day, whenever Horde of the Hydra Pack was new, again, that's back in the day, isn't it? Whenever Horde of the Hydra Pack was new, I gifted 10 packs, and out of those first 10 packs, three had perm mounts, th the, perm, the permanent Hydra mount. Three out of 10. What's the, RNG, what's the odds of that? It's like RNGs, there's, there's a lot of mounts in there. Okay. I just, I don't know, it just seems like that a gifted pack, I, I don't know why, and no, no, for all you naysayers out there, for all you Debbie Downers, no, I have no numbers to prove this. This is just a theory, it's just an idea. Is it, <laughs> is it a, uh, is it an incentive to try to get you guys to gift other people's packs and, and be more giving? Well, maybe, just, maybe just a little bit, maybe, but, Whenever you give, you get something to come back to you. Regardless of that, it seems like I've had better luck on packs that I've gifted to people where they've got stuff they wanted, and I've had better luck on packs that I have been gifted opening versus the packs that I open myself. You know what? Let me, let me, I, th I think I've got a few packs here. Let's check this out. All right, just to test this theory, I have about Oh, I don't know, 20 or so packs, that's not it, that were gifted to me during the Christmas season. They're the uh, Winter Wonder Packs. And I'm going to go ahead and open those. Let's see, 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, yeah, 20. I have 20 of them. I'm going to open these packs and see if I can actually pull out something that, oh, for instance, the Winter Wolf Mount, because I, pff, I opened up. I don't know, 40 bucks worth of packs and couldn't get it on my own. So let's see what we get this time. So not a helmet, dual tree. Same old stuff. Wand, holiday ornament. So far junk in it. Okay, there's energy gear. That's nice. It's no different tech trickers. Winter antlers. I don't think I ever got those either. Come think of it. Armor. That's nice. I know I didn't get that. 
yeah, Santa boots. So I'm looking really, I'm honestly, I mean, even though this, the gear is nice, I'm honestly looking for a pet or mount here. I mean, that's really, whenever we do this, what people are looking to get out of these packs, pretty much. Sometimes the gear, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes the, uh, the housing guests, but mostly pets and mounts. I got the seven day. I got the other, oh, there's perm mount. There we go. Snow hopper, there's, there's the snow hopper perm. Now let's see if I actually get the other one too. Snow for his boots. Mantle. I've got one perm and I, that, I'm happy with that. The snow cone, I like that too, that's pretty cool. Energy shoes, nice. <laughs> More antlers and that Santa rope that I just can't seem to get away from. The claymore, wow. One more. So I did. I did pick up the perm mount out of that pack, out of that gifting pack. Where I couldn't get it whenever I was opening up my own packs. That's just an idea of what's going on there. All right, let me go ahead and move on now. Now you see, that's what I mean. There it is. Out of those 20 packs, bam, perm mount. Now, ordinarily, <laughs> I could open 200 packs and not get a perm mount. Now, it wasn't the White Wolf that I would have, like, optimally hoped for. But nonetheless, saying, hey, I'll bet you I get a perm mount out of 20 packs. And bam, I get a perm mount out of 20 packs. That says something. Maybe there is something to this. This is what I would suggest. I would say, suggest that all of you... Gift me about 10 packs. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm only semi kidding. If y'all gift me a thousand packs, I'm sure to get a perm out. Pretty sure. No, I, I'm just kidding. Please, you don't have to gift me anything. I'm just joking about that. But I'm, I am saying that, you know what? It's very possible that next time when you want to open some packs and your friend wants to open some packs, why don't you, instead of opening your own packs, gift each other the packs that you're going to open and then open them and see if you have a better rate of luck on this. I, I'm telling you, it seems like this might just, might have something to it. Just, again, there's no real solid concrete evidence, but over time, over time, it's proven out a lot. Give it a shot, guys. See what you think. It would be awesome. Hey, <laughs> uh, how many of you have been looking for that pet or that spell or that gear forever now and not gotten it? I'm saying it won't hurt anything. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you got great results, hey, let me know that. I'd love to hear it. If you would like to hang out with me live, I stream on Twitch pretty much every... Yeah, there we go. I stream on Twitch pretty much every evening of the world, starting around 9.30 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I have a community that is good as gold. Wonderful, wonderful people. Not only whenever you, whenever you come there where you have a good time, you will feel really welcomed. These people are really cool. They will make you feel like just like you fit in, and we would love to have you there. All right, I do believe that's going to cover it. This video is a little bit short, but that's all right. Hey, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, a good heart, smash, subscribe, share, yell my name to everybody you know. Do all of those things that you know how to do already. And until next time, this is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, Gamers Colomistic? I have today with me the new Imperia Castaways Bundle Pet, the Puffy Packfish. Here he is, as, as you can expect. He's about the biggest eyed, cutest little thing ever, because it seems to be that's kind of the kind of pets that Wizard 101 runs to. Queen Tyson. Queen Tyson is a life pet with vengeance that's a, that's an interesting choice for a life card with vengeance as its baby card it has ooh it has three epics and two ultra rares as its possible talent sets couple of commons in there a common and mostly rares hmm all right well that's kind of an average middle of the road pet right there so far 